the major banks, uh -huh. not just JP Morgan, but every bank, for many years said that they didn't see the value in open cryptocurrencies, only in closed blockchains. They said that over and over for years. And I always thought it'll be really interesting to see when they start changing their tune. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Uh, when, when they start regretting having said that. Yeah. <laughs> um, and now that's happening, just like in the last six months or so, um, some of the banks have started talking about letting their clients invest in Bitcoin, which is a step. Um, it's kind of a minimal step, but it, at least it shows that they're, um, they've been forced to reconsider their belief that Bitcoin is worthless. Uh -huh. um, what was your question about? Yes. yes. Oh, the, the, your question the, was the about that. The yeah. mindset can change. Yeah, the uh, mindset can change. So, I think it's an interesting, if, if those internal closed blockchains do become useful inside of those organizations or industries, mm -hmm. then I think the very next thing that will happen if they get traction and become valuable to their businesses is they'll want to extend the size of the blockchain to include more and more other businesses, mm -hmm. okay? okay. Uh, because networks are usually more valuable the more people use them. Mm -hmm. And this is true of closed business networks as well as of other kinds of networks. So if they do start using blockchains, they'll want to expand the membership of their blockchain more and more, which will lead them, at some point they'll have to reconsider, oh, maybe it would actually be even more valuable if it were an open blockchain that all the people could connect to. And that's kind of vaguely analogous to what happened during the internet revolution. Uh -huh. There was a time when businesses had internal internet um, networks. They were called intranets in English, and they were for all the employees of the business to send mail to each other inside the same business and to print their documents on the printer inside the business. And that only lasted for a short time. It was very, very valuable to the businesses to have that network inside for all their employees. But as soon as they got that, and that was valuable, the very next thing was they wanted to connect their network to other people so they could send email to other people, right? So it only was like a year or two, or five, I don't know, uh, that businesses had their own private intranets before they decided they wanted to connect them to the greater internet. I kind of think something similar might happen with enterprise blockchains. It might take longer than one or two or five years, but if if those banks or other industries, like the shipping industry and logistics for tracking all kinds of physical things like medicines, um, if those industries start using blockchains, then I think in almost every case there will be pressure to open the blockchain more and more in order to make it more and more valuable to them.